what I kind of want it to look like. Uh, just like the rest of the car, I'm going to do it in 2D. It's probably going to be one inch and a half chromoly back here. And uh, I don't know, maybe do one inch, one inch pieces of tied into the chassis and then maybe even like make it where there's some bend points where it was big on a bend that rear section did not affect the rest of the chassis. So, yeah. Right? So check this out. Been uh, working on the shop some, and just in time, finally got the bender situated over here. And you probably noticed a new wall, so let me kind of kind of give you the lowdown on this thing right quick. So if you remember, before there was all kinds of junk over here. Well, there still is a bunch of junk. You just can't see as much of it now. Mainly because I put up this wall. Um, the idea was that I'm going to make some racks to hold all my chromoly going down the side of this wall right here. Have them kind of stacked. Probably even make them out of some old wood just to kind of fit the theme of this. Uh, probably trim everything off on the top and down the sides with some cedar. And then the cool thing is, is that I've got like workspace, storage space on the backside. You might have seen. Uh, kind of a hint of this in the last tool video I did where I highlighted the storage storage bins but yeah so probably do like pegboard here maybe even do some some like under cabinet style lights right here uh, but just a place to kind of lay stuff out and work I mean I got I got a bunch of junk just stacked back here right now kind of sorting through what I've got but um, <laughs> started working on the goose so the goose is just basically a shell of a dash and I just made these connecting tabs on the sides on uh, both sides but there's some stuff I had to work on one of the things that I had to do was the glove box because I took the frame out from behind the dash the glove box wouldn't latch so I basically had to make a latch for it a latch piece for it and shifter bezel so I had to like make this shifter bezel I just used the factory um, five-speed boot and made a trim piece that goes around it and that fits right around the shifter itself and I'm gonna kind of rearrange the trans brake button so order a new button so anyway progress goose video coming very soon I'm gonna put all the interior back in the thing I'm ready uh, I kind of had some issues with the alternator got that fixed I uh, had some changes on the interior. There's a couple of things I need to fix, but all that stuff is done now. So it's ready to go back together. Um, I'm going to take the current trans brake button, which is on top of the shifter, make that a line lock, make that the trans brake will be down here on the, on the bezel itself. So anyway, long story short, new wall. Kind of dig it. May do a uh, big mural on this thing like to do a big mural I think it'd be a great place to do um, I mean depending on what kind of vehicle it is a little photo shoot I can picture the bibster like in front of that thing with a big mural on it and make for some cool pictures I kind of want to have a couple spots in here I've mentioned it before but I want to do one down there as well when I start covering up all this foam in here I also made a lot of progress on the office hung some of the stuff that I've had hanging around forever still have a bunch more of that stuff from my old school days I got some magazine stuff from my old school days of racing probably get those at some point up at some point and got my play button up so just a little progress steps though let's uh back to this thing so I've got an idea of what I want to do but uh, until I start kind of bending stuff and, and kind of holding it up 
I don't really know if it's gonna work, so let's do that. Let's bend some stuff. So, I was kind of afraid, or I don't want it to be too square. I uh, think if I can get it to match maybe the curve of this a little bit closer, then it'll look a little better. Obviously, you can see it's too squared off now. And what I want to do is, so the idea is to make a recessed tag bracket this then I'll probably take another tube that kind of comes across through here and then bends down on both sides and make like a diffuser style setup right here I always call this thing a modern hot rod and that's kind of I want to bring some of that modern into it I mean obviously uh, it's already got a lot of modern features to it the fuel injection some of that stuff's gonna be pretty trick the hydraulics I mean the brakes all that stuff's very modern but I also want to bring some modern design into it, so I want to mix 30s hot rod. You know, so it's going to have like the 30s back style uh, with, you know, modern day stuff. So that's where the diffuser is going to come in. So this thing will kind of come down, I'll probably have some diffuser plates in here. May make a pan under this thing. Uh, and then these pieces will come out and tie in and I'll kind of sheet metal all this in. Sheet metal that up. May even do some kind of vent that comes out from underneath the radiator. I haven't really kind of worked that out yet, but may, may actually have like a vent piece that comes out the back. I don't know. I think what I want to do is maybe put one, two more bins in this thing, just really little ones. So the recessed tag will be here. I may do like a bin just on the outside of each tag, just you know, like a five or 10 degree bin, just to kind of give this thing a little out flat and then a little bit in just to kind of mix it up a little bit if you were around when i built the chassis for this thing a long time ago because this is going on like a two-year project now but you know the whole chassis was like this um it's pretty expensive to kind of play with chrome molly not exactly knowing what you're going to do but uh it's the price you pay when building something like this i guess Little bit better it's got a little bit of shape to it now in a perfect world if i had like a roll bender which i don't have that'd be the way to do it so now what i want to do is i want to make these down tubes and they'll just be straight pieces 
So I'll measure that and get those cut. So what I figured out I needed was seven inches. That'll be enough for the plate. But uh, you gotta account for the notching of the tubes. So I cut these over a little bit. These are eight and a quarter. Um, which leaves me with about, what, five eighths on each side that I can notch in. And then what I did was, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a line. So I just make a line straight down the center of this tube. And that makes it easy to notch. So you slide it in the notcher, you line the line up, up top dead center, notch it, then you know when you flip it around that this notch on this side will match the same clocking, I guess, of the notch on this side. You know, you don't want to notch it and then twist it a little bit and notch it again because then, yeah, it won't work for you. So anyway, I got two of those. I'm going to get these bad boys notched and then we'll kind of tack them on and see where we're at. Looking pretty good so far. So that's what I'm thinking. Now, I don't really know the height yet that I want this panel to come down to. Uh, one thing you do have to remember is that this thing is on the ground. So, you know, once this tube's in here, uh, there'll be about a eight inch opening for the diffuser itself. Oh, things come out. And then it'll just wrap. This thing, my idea is like it's gonna come just down through there like that, almost to the ground. So when this thing is laid out, uh, the rear section, parts of the rear section will be almost into the ground as well. The only thing I'm gonna have to do is I'll probably have to raise it up before I set the height just to make sure that it has the look that I want. One of the other things I want to do, and I've kind of mentioned it before, but I think the panel, as it comes off the back of this, I think I want it to be open. Uh, so when it's laid out, you know, this whole piece kind of comes up through the panel. And then once it's raised up, it'll kind of recess down in there, but you can kind of still look inside and kind of see some of the, see some of the suspension.
Pretty much what I was after. The only thing I'll probably do, well, I know I'll do, I'll have to like make some tubes that kind of roll in like this and then probably connect it to you somehow. And then, like I said, my body pan will come up. And I'll sheet the outside of this. And then this section here will have the sheeting will be on the inside. So the tag will be slightly recessed. Yep. I think that's good for now. Like I said, all this will be open. So it'll be a diffuser type setup. I might put some blades in there, I don't know. Kind of wait and see. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Well, there it is. The back section started. Uh, you kind of get an idea of what I'm after with that. Obviously, a lot of trimming's got to happen. These pieces out here that touch the tires obviously won't be that wide. Got to kind of finish off the center section, and then I have to attach it to the chassis. And uh, I'm going to make it removable. So I want that whole back section to be removable. Pop some pins out or whatever. The sheeting, you know, unplug the 
tail lights or whatever I have lit back here and then the whole thing can slide off. Um, a couple reasons. You know, if I need to take the rear end or something out, uh, some of the tubes are going to go under it, some of them are going to go over it. So really that rear end is going to be encapsulated in that thing. So that's the one thing. I won't be able to drop the rear end out the bottom. And uh, you know, the other thing is too, is if I ever, somebody hits it or, you know, whatever, hopefully um, it'll take the brunt of the brunt. It'll take the damage, pop it off, fix it, replace bars, whatever. I'm really leaning towards putting a belly pan on the whole thing. I know I'm going to do it in the driver's compartment. This uh, in here is just aluminum. Oh, shit. Good thing I got good tacks. Uh, anyway, this is just aluminum, so there's no real safety um, from underneath for the driver and passenger. So I'm going to put a belly pan on it, a steel one. And I'll do the whole thing because the tranny doesn't drop out the bottom either. So there's no need to have it open. So I'll do one entire belly pan for that. And then maybe you do a se separate one for the rear section. And that way I can kind of, you know, keep some of the hydraulics and all that stuff kind of safe under here. Try to keep it clean. So there you go. Another Bibster video. You can kind of see what I got going on in the back side of that thing. Once I get all those tubes kind of mocked up, then I can make some of the rear sheet metal for that thing, kind of encapsulate that back section, make that, that 30 style tunnel back there, kind of figure out what I'm gonna do. And uh, other than like the roof, which shouldn't be terribly hard, and the firewall, those two things are all I've got left. And really I can blow this thing apart and kind of start finish welding a lot of the stuff that's just tacked together. Turbo systems just tacked together. Um, a lot of the bracketry that holds the suspension, it's welded in, but I'm gonna reinforce it, box it in. There's some stuff that I wanna do there. So I'll break it down to just a bare chassis, go through it, do the turbo setup. Gotta take the engine apart, gotta set a cylinder head, stuff like that for it. The intake, gonna do that carbon fiber intake for that. So that'll be coming, I don't know if soon, but it'll be coming. Um, and then, you know, obviously, I try to figure out this shop. Goose video very, very soon. Gonna throw that thing together. I should be able to do it in one video, get all the interior in it. And then uh, hopefully soon we can get the thing to the dyno. Kind of get it sorted out. It runs pretty good. Actually, it runs real good as far as full throttle, just like mid throttle and idle, man. It is fat. I mean, it runs fine. It's just super fat. So I gotta get, uh, I gotta get the thing to the dyno and kind of get the manners figured out on that thing. So anyway. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. Go do work, son. Hey.